But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Now the kingdom of God is wherever God rules with his word. As king, that becomes his kingdom. His righteousness is simply his standards of how life should be lived. His righteousness is twofold. It is the nature and the ability which God puts in us that results in a lifestyle according to God's standards. So the scripture could be put this way. Seek to get yourself under the authority of God and live the life that he tells you to. In other words, obey his every word through his spirit that he will give you and all these things shall be added unto you. Now, how exactly do you do that? The life of one that is already in Christ Jesus is marked by two significant events. There is the natural birth, and then somewhere along the line, there is the born-again experience, which is a spiritual birth by water and the Holy Spirit. Here is Andrew. He was born in sin and lived out a sinful life. That is a life that is disconnected from the will or the word of God. Andrew is not in the kingdom of God. To experience or see the kingdom, Andrew first had to repent and encounter Christ the Savior who died for his sin so Andrew can receive grace which is mercy and forgiveness from God and also the endowment of the ability and the gift of righteousness to empower Andrew to become that new creature in the realm of the kingdom of God equipped with the ability of the Holy Spirit to live life according to God's standards. So before his born again experience, Andrew knew Christ the Savior, but after his born again experience, he knows Christ the Lord who rules his life by his word. The word of his kingdom, which is covered in the book of Matthew chapters 5, 6, and 7, is summed up to love God, which is to obey God, obey his every word, and to love others, which means to serve others. Andrew has a responsibility now to join others in God's kingdom to learn, to know, to understand, to apply, and practice the words of his king, Christ the Lord, day by day in all areas of his life. Through obedience, Andrew is able to see or experience the kingdom of God in his day-to-day -day life until he finally makes an entrance into the kingdom of heaven on that day. That is what it means to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness.